After months of delays and multi-million dollar bids, Charlotte's Epicenter now has a new owner. Yeah, but the question is, what happens next to the Epicenter? Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joins us now live from the courthouse. And Taylor, this process would seem to be complete, but it's far from over. Yeah, Brian, especially when you take into account who now owns the property. We were here during that live auction on the bottom of the courthouse on August 9th. There were multiple investors considering making a bid. But in the end, the epicenter has fallen into the hands of a multinational banking institute. I got an apartment around the corner, so I walk by this empty space maybe twice a day. While some walking past the epicenter see a shell of what used to be a popular entertainment hub in Uptown, others see a blank canvas. The location of it provides great potential um, for not only the residents of Uptown, but visitors alike and people that work here. On Friday, after being up for auction for 10 days, a new owner was named. Deutsche Bank, the lender who loaned out millions to the property's previous owner, took over the epicenter with their $95 million bid. We look forward to working with whatever partners come in there in order to really bring that site back to life. Despite there being no upset bids during the bidding process, other investor groups have made efforts to become owners. This, this is a very important piece of property and we hope that it can be handled in a, in a proper fashion. Eric Montgomery is representing one of them. His client has submitted multiple offers on the property, their latest $68 million. He says the bank has yet to respond. Part of our next step is I'm probably going to send them a letter asking about where they are in the process and, and what consideration can be given to our clients' you know, um, offers to see what we can get done. While the bank has declined to comment on future plans, people in Charlotte remain optimistic it will be brought back to life. Great question, Mark. But I enjoyed it when it was here, so I life want to bring it back. Yeah, it was a once popular spot. Taylor, what do we know about the current owners of the property? Well, Brian, we did reach out to the bank for any insight on their plans. A spokesperson responded with a no comment, but we do know that they are headquartered in Germany and provide financial um, financial services for a variety of customers, including governments and corporations. Brian. All right. Yeah, Taylor Young live outside the courthouse with more on the epicenter and the next development that could be happening. We'll keep following it here on Queen City News.